Hey everybody and welcome back to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Uh, and if you're really enjoying this channel, please consider hitting that red subscribe button and subscribing. I try to put out content as frequently as daily if possible. And if not, at least on a weekly basis. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So... So far, the Washington Commanders have been pretty quiet as far as free agency. Now, <clears throat> that being said, as far as losing potential free agents, they have not been very quiet. We have lost J.D. McKissick uh, as of yesterday. Now, when I made my video yesterday talking about how that we need to try to re-sign J.D. McKissick, you gotta keep in mind, I record these videos in the morning, and sometimes those videos don't get released until the midday or afternoons. And so, by the time that I released that video, JD McKissick had already assigned with the Buffalo Bills. So, I didn't realize about that time that that got released, I noticed, oh, McKissick is gone. So, there you go. So just keep in mind, folks, when I am releasing these videos or when I'm making these videos, I try my best to look over the news and make sure that there's been nothing big that's happened that, you know, I need to report on before I actually do a video. But having said that, I hadn't seen anything as of yet this morning. So by the time that this video is released, who knows? Uh, you know, free agency time is so fluid that by the time that these videos get released, something big, a lot of major changes may have happened. So just bear with me. Don't don't come on here and say, well, that's already happened. Yeah, it may have because these videos are not live, all right? So you may come on here and say, wow, you know, that, that video aged like milk. Well, you know, hey, again, you know, I'm not a fortune teller, so... Um, I don't always, and I don't have inside information, all right? You know, I'm not tied to the NFL. A lot of times, these are opinion pieces. Uh, the, these are things that I think, from my opinion, from what I've seen, may or may not happen. Um, so, take it for what it's worth, all right? Um, but, yeah, J.D. McKissick, we lost him, of course. We lost Brandon Sheriff, which was going to be no surprise whatsoever, to any of us Washington fans. We knew that Brandon Sheriff did not want to stay in Washington. Um, so, you know, losing those two guys and then losing Tim Settle, we're talking about losing guys more than actually gaining free agents, honestly. You know, um, I think we uh, I think we signed, re-signed uh, Troy Apke. I know everybody's jumping up and down for joy for that one. Um Danny Johnson is wanting to test his worth in, in the market. So, you know, he's been very serviceable for us last year. Um, he came in, you know, when um, uh, William Jackson was out for a little bit, and he, he played very well for us, I thought. So, um, you know, we're probably, we may wind up losing uh, Danny Johnson. So, you know, we're losing a lot of guys, and right now, you know, a lot of Washington Commander fans are sitting around going, Ron Rivera, what are you doing? Martin Mayhew, what are you doing? Marty Herney, what are you doing? You know, you guys are just sitting around on your hands and you're not making any moves for any free agents. You got to fill these holes. And I get that, you know, but then again, we have had this stigma around this franchise for out and how long that this franchise goes out and this one thing they try to do and it's win the off season and make that big free agent splash. You know, we, we throw all this money at this big name free agent just to try to, you know, get butts in seats and that always winds up failing for us. And, you know, so guys are so used to that and fans are so used to that and now that we we haven't really been seeing that a whole lot in recent years now fans are like why are we not going out and making the big splash 
You know, it's like before, it's like we were mad because we were throwing all this money at these free agents, making these big splashes. They want to see these big name stars come to Washington. And then when it suddenly it doesn't happen, now they're mad because these big name stars have not come into Washington. Now they're like, well, you know, the franchise is so toxic, these players don't want to come here. And while, you know, some of that may be, there may be some truth in some of that, still, you know, it's like, you can't have it both ways. All right. I mean, yeah, I do expect us to make some moves. We've got to be able to bring in some some valuable players for us that's going to help this team out in free agent and free agency. But at the same time, we also got to make sure that we have money on our cap to be able to assign, you know, guys like Terry McLaurin. Right now, Terry McLaurin should be our number one priority above everybody else. If we do not sign Terry McLaurin. We, if that deal does not get done, then we are in trouble. We are going to lose Terry McLaurin. That is just all it is to it. Because right now, I am not quite convinced that you know going out and getting Carson Wentz is going to be enough to convince Terry McLaurin. I hope it is. But guys, that to me trumps anything else that we do in free agency. You know, forget everything else. Also, I think that there might be a chance that Washington might be able to do something in the draft. You know, they don't necessarily have to go out and get a quarterback in this year's draft. And honestly, I would rather assume they don't. Because, let's face it, this is another hypocritical thing that I've seen from a lot of, you know, talking heads, fans and stuff out there, is that this year was supposed to be the off year for drafting a quarterback. And so fans are like, you know, the team should not draft a quarterback this year. They need to maybe go out and find somebody in free agency, but they should not draft a quarterback this year. And then all of our heard, you know, if they can't get Russell Wilson, we need to draft, um, you know, Willis. We need to draft Howell. We need to, we need to draft these other uh, quarterbacks in this year's draft, while a lot of uh, the NFL experts, football experts, have said that none of these guys are projected really to be starters this year. So that has to give you pause if you're a front office of an NFL team and a coaching staff. If none of these guys have the ability to start, if you don't get that sense that these guys can lead a team, in year one you may not want to draft them it you know as much as i hate to say it washington probably had to look at carson wentz as yet another bridge quarterback they basically probably had to look at him as you know ryan fitzpatrick 2.0 because you know what they tried to do last year with ryan fitzpatrick was let's see if we could roll with him for for about a year or two and then draft our quarterback and develop him, you know, maybe draft him in, in year 2023 when there's going to be a much deeper draft for quarterbacks and have a quarterback who we can develop into that starting quarterback, into that franchise quarterback. Um, so having said all that, I think that's what Ron Rivera's plan is. I think that, you know, he sees that – all right, the quarterback um, situation was drying up. Had to go get Carson Wentz. I think that was a honestly, I think that was the best move he could possibly do. Um, I don't think they were going to be in line for Deshaun Watson. I just think that his situation was going to be up and down. Um, now there's so many different teams that are entering the the uh, Deshaun Watson sweepstakes. I don't think that Washington was probably going to wind up being a, a place he wanted to go. I think he probably, honestly, I think he's going to wind up going to Carolina, either there or New Orleans. Um, but Carson Wentz was probably the best choice, of course, other than Russell Wilson, who obviously picked Denver over Washington. And having said that, I think number 11 would probably be used much better for another draft pick um, 
or either trading down and picking up other picks. I think that's what Washington probably needs to do. I think they need to try to grab other picks. They need to fill these positions, and what better way to do it than through the draft. And so I think that's what Ron Rivera is going to do. I think, honestly, that's what he needs to do is just build this team up through the draft. We need some more young offensive line men. <laughs> line men. <laughs> we need some more offensive linemen, obviously, because we're losing guys. We lost, you know, Brandon Sheriff this year. We lost uh, Morgan Moses last year. We lost Trent Williams uh, a couple of years back. So we're losing some quality guys um, either through free agency or just through trades and then – uh, through injuries, you know, so we need to rebuild that offensive line. You know, it was still pretty high-performing offensive line last year, considering, but we need to really rebuild that offensive line, have a young, athletic offensive line before that we can really put a quarterback back there. So, honestly, if you ask me what is the Washington Commanders' game plan at this point, for this season, honestly, don't expect them to really make a lot of big splashes. Now, said, having said that, you may see a big splash later this afternoon after this video is released. And then you're going to come back on, on the comments section. You're going to be like, uh, yeah, what about them signing, you know, this guy or that guy? Well, guess what? I might be wrong. I might be totally wrong. But I just have a hunch that we're not really going to see a lot of big splashes. Yeah, right now, if you grade what Washington is doing in the offseason, right now it's probably a D. It really is. I think Washington is losing the offseason for probably the first time in a long time. just doesn't look good on, on paper right now, which maybe it's reverse psychology. You know, they've looked so great on paper in the offseason in the past years, and then it's really not uh, you know translated to on-field play as much. So maybe... Maybe it's reverse psychology. Maybe it's going to look great when we get to the season. Who knows? But so far, I don't think any of us have been overly too excited with what's been going on with uh, free agency so far. So, And that's as of today, Wednesday morning, as I'm recording this video. So by Wednesday afternoon, things could dramatically change. And so I just want to make that point very clear as you start watching this video just remember, as you're watching this video, Wednesday afternoon or Thursday morning, things could definitely change by then. That being said, what do you guys think? I mean, I just, um, I personally think that we're not going to make big splashes. I think any big splashes we're going to make, it's all going to be draft related. And yeah, so what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments section. And again, if you've enjoyed this channel, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Support this channel. With that said, let's go Maniacs, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>